What's going on guys? Welcome back to Call of Duty World War II on Black Tide TV and happy St. Patrick's Day. Though you won't be seeing this video on St. Patrick's Day, maybe the day after. It'll likely go up around midnight, 1, 2 in the morning. I wanted to do this opening on St. Patrick's Day to hopefully get as much of the luck of the Irish as I possibly can. I was going to hold off on my supply drop opening in the St. Patrick's Day event, the Shamrock and uh, Update. But I was already being asked about it. When's the supply drop opening for the new loot? Because it's going to be a pretty cool one. There's a whole bunch of new items, new weapon camouflages, there are new weapons, there are new variants. And apparently the supply drop system is a lot more forgiving now. I talked about that in a recent video, which I will link in the description down below so you can check that one out. But I have 67 supply drops. I've been playing over the last couple of days, earning as many as I possibly can. Two of those are very special. We have a heroic uniform bribe and a resistance bribe. So we'll open those last. I believe they are dupli duplicate protected. So I've got 39 regular supply drops, 26 rare supply drops. If you were wondering, there are no shamrock and awe supply drops. The shamrock and awe items have been added directly into the loot pool alongside the older resistance and winter items. So we'll start off with our basic common supply drops i'm going to find a nice area because I, I i guess i'm still looking for that social score even though uh the chances of me getting to 20 at this point rank 20 social score is meh, slim to none but we're starting off and we've already got a new launcher camouflage no duplicates look at that first supply drop no duplicates whatsoever makes me happy i believe that was actually a shamrock and not outfit as well we got the shit out of luck 2, which is a heroic variant that I don't have yet of the SVT. Now, the SVT is not a great weapon, but I'll take that all the same. Heroics that I don't have. Epic. Weapon charm. I I made a note of the spork the second I saw it. That's the golden spork from Mob of the Dead from, I think it was Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1. I think Black Ops 2 had Mob of the Dead, one of the best zombie maps of all time, but golden spork to hang off your gun i won't be using the weapon charms personally i don't agree with them I, they're just really silly that's actually a duplicate of the royal skull could have given me the uh, heroic variant of that sten i i mean i don't have that one yet more emblems it looks like they've added more in which i'm not a big fan of i don't use the emblems in game i use my own custom emblem that's actually a triple duplicate i think i just got that killer emblem in this opening just a couple minutes ago those are two of the new camouflages victory so it looks like it's going to be all newspapers all over your weapon i'm excited to see some of these camouflages i've seen some of them in the game but uh i don't know how they're going to look on most weapons so we'll have to check that out towards the end of the video if we still have time that's a new reticle for the four times optic i've seen a lot more four times optic reticles than anything else there's uh, the red dot sight for the lens sight. The reticles are kind of silly. There are red dots, there are silly shapes, and all kinds of nonsense. There's a heroic resistance uniform, so that's going to take that out of the loot pool for my resistance and my uniform bribes. So I'm very happy that I'm getting that out of the way. That is a duplicate of the shovel. We've got Winter M34. I've had that helmet for a very long time. We are seeing some more and more duplicates, but I mean, I still I still feel like I'm not getting as many duplicates as I would before. New emote gestures. A lot of resistance items are popping up, strangely enough, which is very weird. Holt's pistol is actually the one variant that I have of the machine pistol of any of them. So that's kind of weird that I got that as well. Airborne beret, ration, and stone leopard pistol camouflage. So those are some two new items on the end there. I'm also looking for the items for these two new collections. There are a number of new collections, even in the base collections menu. You can get new variants of all of the base weapons in game. But what I'm mostly looking for are items from Shamrock and Awe, so I can get to those two new weapons, the M38, and I can't remember what the LMG is called. It's like an M80, MG80, something like that. I'd really like to get my hands on those two new weapons. Critical Care Nurse, I've actually had that for a very long time. Four times Optic Reticle, that's the third or fourth one that we've seen so far. 
Stinkeroo 2. That's actually a really nice looking variant. Unfortunately, I was just using the FG42 before I sat down to record this video, and I was not having a great time with that one. That is a very wishy-washy weapon. They've adjusted it so many times that I don't, I don't really feel good about it anymore. It kicks a lot, doesn't do a whole lot of damage. It's just a very strange kind of weapon. Pitch shotgun camo. Funny thing about the pitch camouflage is that's actually how the chrome camouflage would glitch out. At the beginning of the game, the chrome camo would glitch and the parts that were chrome on your weapon would turn pitch black. Now it's a camouflage pattern that you can find in supply drops. I feel like they should have just given us the pitch camouflage because we've been dealing with the glitchy chrome from day one. But to each his own. Continuing on. French M26. Those are two new helmets. Unfortunately, I don't believe helmets are part of collections at all. There's the Brody helmet. <laughs> it's not going to show me. Pic There's the picture. Took a minute to load that. An epic item. Confused emo gesture. I've already got that. A weapon charm. Leprechaun's hoard. That looks like one of the items that might be in the collections for the weapon variant. So I'm okay with that. I believe the weapon variants themselves, the items that are part of the collection, are like very, very obviously Shamrock and all. Like they're leprechauns and they're bright green. Like that lucky emblem might be one of the items in there. Epic. Two epics. Immunity. 9mm SAP. I didn't even know I had that, to be honest with you, because the SAP was a free weapon and I haven't really been looking for variants of it whatsoever. Doughboy, Wild West, Rallying Cry. Those look like two new calling cards. Vengeance, who knows? Star, that's duplicates. Vengeance, that's a reticle, actually. That Iron Cross. Pot of Gold, that's a new camouflage pattern. That's actually one of the Shamrock and Awe camouflage patterns. Cheer and Clap, Leprechaun's Revenge. I strongly believe that's part of one of the collections. We got an epic and a heroic. Nice, the Thrive 2. Now, the Thrive is one of those collection variants for the PPSH. It's one of the very first variants that a lot of people went and spent their armory credits on. So, the Thrive 2 could be very, very cool. It's the black and gold version. And then the Gorilla is actually a newly added variant of the MG15. And that's actually a resistance specific variant. So, there's like resistance stuff all over it, like the colors of the resistance and all that. So, Definitely looking forward to using that one. I've been using the MG15 a lot recently. In my opinion, it's one of the better weapons in the game. Easily the best LMG. So uh, I'm happy that I got that variant. Winter, resistance, a lot of resistance items. And it looks like I didn't have either of those, which is definitely interesting. Siberian is a duplicate. I don't know if they added Siberian 2. Siberian, look at that beautiful picture right there, because the actual Siberian variant does not look like that. It's all rusty and garbage looking. If there were a Siberian 2, it would look just like that picture, and I would be very happy about it. But those were all duplicates, and that's it for our basic supply drops. We still have rare supply drops to go, and uh, I don't know how our audience was over here. Let's uh, see what's going on. Yep, I think this is a good enough audience, because everyone was standing right here, right? Everyone's come to get their... Uh, contracts and they count as people watching your supply drops so i'm all for it maquis is a duplicate i've never even seen that before so if you say it's duplicate i'll take it now i'm getting less and less duplicates but i'm still not mad about getting the duplicates when i do because the armory credits are still a vital part of the supply drop opening and completing your collections Getting all of the items in a select collection is something that is so unachievable that you actually do need those armory credits at the end of the day to finish your collection. So even when I am getting duplicates, I'm still, I'm smooth sailing. Just as long as I get enough between the items and the armory credits to complete my collections, I'll be happy. I'll be a happy camper. Polish winter duplicates. English beret is a new legendary helmet. Resistance Frozen Clover is a duplicate. That was the thing that I got in the very first crate that I opened, I believe. 
Now these are rare supply drops, so you would think they would be a little bit better. So far I'm seeing a lot of commons and rares. No headers is a weapon charm. Canary LMG, that could be a very cool looking camouflage, just bright yellow. Similar to the gold, I, I, would, I would assume. Another epic. Duck Soup is a variant that I've had for a very long time. I believe there's a Duck Soup 2 now, which would be nice to have as well. Stove Pipe, I've had that for a long time. Goal is the exact same as that No Headers weapon charm that I just got, except it's just a regular soccer ball with no spikes on it. Heroic. And it's an infantry outfit. I mean... I will take these outfits because it's getting rid of it's getting rid of them from that heroic weapon bribe or heroic outfit bribe and all the resistance items are coming out of the resistance bribe so they're opening up the the possibilities for those bribes at the end. Camo equipped. I've never seen that before. I must have just earned it in this supply drop opening. Acrobat. That's a pretty cool looking reticle. Irish Bowler is a new legendary helmet, but once again, I don't believe helmets are part of any collection in the game. Another heroic. heroic. Crusader 2 is a sawed-off shotgun. I barely ever use that weapon. Even after the buff, it's still not great. Thumbs down. Holy mackerel. Spectacle. Those are all duplicates. Noble weapon charm. Okay. 25,000 armory credits. I should easily be able to buy one, at least one of the weapons. Mean Green, Airborne, Husky. That's the one Carabin variant that I don't have, apart from the newly added Resistance. That was the one that I've always needed, was the Husky 1. I've had the Husky 2 and the Midnight 1, Midnight 2. That's the only one that I've needed for a very long time. Mean green looks like a Shamrock and Awe outfit. Hopefully it was part of the collections as well. Heroic. 25th Rifle 2 is a duplicate. Two more supply drops here. Empire Type 100. Battle Babies. Those are all duplicates. I'm getting a lot of armory credits from these high duplicate items. One last Heroic. Oil Can 2 is a duplicate, which I've had for a very long time. We're almost up to 30,000 armory credits. We're going to open up these bribes, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go with the uniform bribe first, because the uniform that I get could be a resistance item. So I'm just canceling out what I can from the resistance items, because that guarantees me three non-dupe resistance items which I don't have all of the resistance weapons yet, so there could definitely be some weapons in there for me, and if I get a uniform instead of a weapon, you know what I'm saying here. So we're going to go with the uniform first. Looks like there's a lot of people over here for some reason. There's a heroic. That's our heroic uniform. And an epic. So we didn't get anything from the resistance, so hopefully this resistance bribe works out for us. I'd really like to see a weapon here. I don't care if it's the Volk or not. Is it the Volk? Yeah, the Volk, Stormgefair, Sturmgefair. It's not very good anymore, so I don't care about it. But I'll, And there's not even a weapon in there, so what am I talking about? <laughs> My three non-dupe items from the Resistance Bribe were pistol grips. I'm so glad that they are not adding in any more pistol grips from this point forward. Very, very happy about that, but to replace them with charms and calling cards and all kinds of nonsense is a little bit of a letdown. Let's check out Mr. Butcher over here. Feeling a bit down lately. We're going to go into our collections. Hopefully he stops talking so we can get through this. I did happen to get a lot of items out of this. We're very, very close on both of these collections. Now, they are very expensive, but I should be able to afford them. And that's the top of the morning. M38 SMG. Even got me a bit and this one is pretty expensive as well, 8900 but it, it's the new items. You know what? You got to spend the armory credits. I'm glad I got the amount of duplicates that I did because now I can afford them. That, to that still cost me around 20,000 armory credits after all of the items I had already unlocked. Now, there are new items in here as well. So there's the Rolling Thunder... 
the this these are old the m1 garen the m1 a1 carbine those are older rolling thunder however is on the new these are more expensive now 7300 it's not worth it for the mg42 and even after that i don't know if i'd be able to afford all of those items tin openers is a uniform i never spend armory credits on uniforms unless it's at the end of the event and i want to pick up the event uniforms the Sweetie, we can't afford that after 8900 I can't even purchase the 8900 Defense Sappers uniform. Waffenschmiede looks really cool. I'd like to get the Waffenschmiede 2 if there were one, but I don't think there is one in the game as of yet, and I'm not going to spend that many armory credits on the Mark 1. Uniforms, uniforms, Winter's Wild. I didn't get any items for this toggle action. And I believe the rest are older collections. So these are all collections that have completed. And that is that. So those are all of the Operation Overlord items. And then, of course, we finished Operation Shamrock and Awe by purchasing those two new weapons. And without further ado, we'll hop into the shooting gallery down here. And we'll take a look at some of these new weapons and variants. So I'll first have to come into my weapon classes, go to my joke class which isn't currently a joke class instead it's actually my melee class so i'm gonna have to pick a new class here one second because i use most of these on a regular basis based on what game mode we're playing so i've been using a lot of weapons we'll get rid of the fg42 because as i said i was re recently using it and it is not very nice to me so camouflages will drop off of this guy because we want to take a look at this stinkeroo too it's basically your green and gray there's a lot of ones like this with the yellow writing it's the basic iron sights but it is pretty nice i do like the look of the green and gray uh, weapon variants in the game svt40 we got the sol2 the shit out of luck 2 which is actually one of the nicer variants in the game it looks a lot like the bar dude up 2 with the fake chrome on there and it does have some nice iron sights the iron sights were broken for a while but i do believe that they've been fixed and they now work properly it's pretty nice those are the only new rifles we've got new submachine guns however the ppsh thrive 2 so we'll take a look at the thrive just in case you haven't seen it there's the thrive it's black and gold it's already pretty nice as is but with the thrive 2 it's just a little bit more shiny a little bit more polished and there you have it. it is it is quite nice only thing about the thrive is i'm not a big fan of the iron sights and how far back the sights seem on the weapon because of this big block that you have at the bottom of the screen it looks like the weapon is a lot longer than i'm used to when i'm using the ppsh we'll take a look at the m38 at the very end mg15 so the gorilla is that um very special resistance variant and it's got the big egg shaped iron sights which are actually nicer than the iron sights on the one i'm using now custom uh we've got the custom emote with the weapon there and then you see all like the resistance on the side we've got the mg81 which we'll take a look at the end the husky is one of those ones that i did not have it's the green and gray i've already got the husky too which you've probably seen in a previous video i still need that kutasov too which is actually a brand new edition and the patriot is a brand new edition as well that's a resistance item as well sawed off shotgun we got the crusader 2 which is a black and gold but it's really nice and shiny on this one it's kind of having some render issues right now but that's that's basically all there is to it taking a look at our secondaries i didn't think we had any new secondaries apart from nope even the launchers that we got were duplicates so we'll take a look at the MG81 first. We've only got the Big Irish. I would like to have just the base, like, weapons because that's kind of what I like in weapons is having the base. I don't really care for any of the very fancy-looking variants like that thing. It would be cool to have, but I want to have the challenges as well. I want to complete the challenges and have the actual historical weapon like that one right there. But instead, we've got the Big Irish, so we'll have to just take a look at this nonsense thing with the... Uh, the camouflage already put on there, the shamrock and awe camouflage, the green bullets. It's got a wacky iron sight. Apparently has faster aim down sights than any other LMG, but I find that very hard to believe. It kind of aim down sights the same speed as anything else. And I'll definitely have a review on these weapons in the future, so stay tuned for that. But there you have the MG81. 
it looks like it's going to be on par with the Lewis, on par with the MG15, something like that. And then we'll take a look at the M38. Again, what is that nonsense? I would love to see that weapon in game, but we got the top of the morning, which looks like it's double barreled. When I first saw this weapon in the trailers, I thought it was a double barrel submachine gun. And I'm like, um, is that a thing? Very strange looking iron sights intensely strange looking iron sights and i have picked up this weapon in game but i didn't get any kills with it i was playing shipment and you know you know how shipment can be but it does look interesting to say the least a lot of kick hopefully it's competitive enough to uh be used over the ppsh over the mp40 something like that but there you have the smg and the lmg and last but not least let's just take a look at some of these camouflage patterns because i'm definitely interested in seeing what some of these camos are looking like We've got no camouflage patterns actually for the SMGs at all, which is strange. I definitely thought I had some SMG camos. M1 Garand is a great example of a weapon that needs a camouflage on it. And we've got the Victory. So just says Peace and Victory newspaper clippings like we were expecting. And that one is all that we have for assault rifles. Take a look at this Lewis now. And we have both of the Shamrock and Awe camos. That one kind of looks like the gift wrap camouflage from Modern Warfare Remastered. If you remember that one from the Christmas event, you could unlock it through playing on Winter Crash. That looks a lot like that. And we also got the Canary camouflage, which, oh my god, that is very, very yellow. <laughs> the tattoo camouflage is the, is the classic American traditional black and white tattoo. And Stone Leopard looks like a leopard, I guess. Now, I'm definitely interested in seeing this brand new shotgun camouflage i think it was the shotgun that i got pitch on so we have the new shamrock and awe ones and pitch which is just black but it's kind of a gritty black because that's how the glitch would would work with the chrome it would be gritty there'd be certain spots that were black and certain spots that weren't definitely not legendary in my opinion as i said i think they should just give us the pitch camouflage because that's what a lot of us dealt with if you had chrome from the beginning of the game and carabin we'll take a look if we got any other camouflage patterns for the snipers, we did. We got the sunset, which, oh my gosh, that is very bright. My eyes are hurting in my skull. Orange. So there's a yellow, an orange, and a red. I'm assuming in future updates, they'll add more base camouflages, greens and blues and whatever have you. Camouflage on the pistols. There's our red candy apple, which is a very nice camouflage, actually. The yellow and the orange, I'm not a big fan of, but that red is pretty sweet. And we got the Woodland Stripes as well. And I think I got melee weapons as or melee camouflages as well. We'll take a look at those on my melee class. The Deliverance we got. Uh, it was just the same, Stone Leopard. So those are all of the new camouflages. Those are all of the new weapons and weapon variants. I won't do the uniforms because they're uniforms. Who actually cares? So that is going to conclude today's video. I'll hopefully have some videos out on those new weapons for you. I still want to review the revolvers from the Resistance event. Never had a chance at those yet. A lot of videos that I need to do around here. A lot of stuff for other games as well. Black Ops videos, Modern Warfare Remastered videos, and I want to do a video for Burnout Paradise, which I've been playing recently. came out yesterday. Very good game. But that is going to conclude today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, and let me know what you got in your Shamrock and Awe opening in the comment section down below. I'll catch you guys on the next video.